Hello, friends, and welcome to Encouragement for Today. Rays of hope to carry us through these gloomy, dark days of unrest that we find ourselves in today. Well, friend, I was looking over in the scripture today, and I found some scripture over in uh, the book of Philippians that really jumped out at me. And uh, I pray that they'll encourage you like they have me. Philippians chapter number two, beginning with verse number five, the Bible says here, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. But at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven things in earth and things under the earth. Friend, whenever I look at these passages of scripture, it reminds me of our Lord coming into this world to be a bright light and to shine forth that light. This time of year, many people put up Christmas trees in their homes. In the background of our uh, devotion this morning, you see the one that's standing in our home. Friend, every time I see the beautiful lights of a Christmas tree, it reminds me that Jesus Christ is the light, the true light, the light of this world. And the Bible teaches us in these few passages of Scripture here that you and I need to be like-minded in verse number five, it says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Now, we could preach a sermon from that one particular verse and talk about the mind of Christ and the things that uh, he thought about doing and the things that he did do. Uh, I mean, God wants us to have a mind like his, a mind of love, a mind of compassion, a mind of uh, giving, and the list could go on and on and on. So a sermon could be preached from that one verse of Scripture. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Listen, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. You know, growing up as a boy, there's one time that I asked my daddy, God, uh, daddy, where did God come from? How did he get there? And I think that all little children and some adults still wonder. The Bible doesn't tell us that, but the Bible does tell us that in the beginning, God. And so we accept that by our faith, that God was just there in the very beginning. The Bible says here, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Friend, uh, Jesus shows us exactly what God is. He's God manifested in the flesh according to John 1 verse 14. And the flesh and God was made flesh and dwelt among us. The Bible says here he made himself of no reputation. Didn't have to make himself a reputation. I already had one. He was the son of the living God. He was in heaven. The Bible said that he humbled himself and took the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. Being found uh, in this fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the death, the death of the cross. And how thankful you and I should be today that he loved us enough to go to the cross of Calvary and to bear our sins in his own body. But you see, he didn't stay dead. That's what I always like to tell people. He died on the cross, but he didn't stay dead. I mean, we can mix a little Easter right here with our Christmas. Up from the grave, he arose. Three days later, he walked out of a tomb, and he's alive forevermore. Well, how do you know that, preacher? Well, I know that because of what this next scripture says. 
God has also highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. And I like what it says here, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Friend, you may not bow right now, but there will come a time you will bow at the name of Jesus. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven, things in earth, and things under the earth. You and I are very blessed today. And you and I can make a difference in our world by encouraging someone uh, with the light of the Lord Jesus Christ. Friend, he humbled himself and he took our sins in his own body. And you know, the Bible has so much to say about that. Probably one of my favorite passages of scripture, I have so many, but probably one of my favorite passages of scripture is found in the book of John chapter 11, verse 26. Jesus says, and he that liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Friend, the light of this precious world came into this world so that you wouldn't have to die. But you see, you must choose life over death. And how do you do that? By getting to know Jesus personally and making him your Lord. And when you make him your Lord, this darkness begins to be dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. And eventually, it will just be dispelled because Jesus, the light of the world, dispels all darkness. God bless you. And I hope these words maybe have encouraged you as they did me. Have a wonderful day.